Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, finalizing this consist of this tin litho and uh, finding out what runs the best and what position it runs best in. And I just got a new tinder. I went through my box of parts. I had this tinder body all beat up, as you see, like all of the other uh, tin litho is that I have. This all came from eBay. And I didn't buy any of it. It just came with engines and other things that I bought. Anyway, I had this little uh, flat car, which was something once. I have no idea what it was. And uh, I had this tender body. And it fit except for there were two tabs on the rear and there were no tab slots on this end of the car. So I just snipped them off. All the other tabs fit perfectly. So uh, repainted the uh, base of it with a flat black primer just real quick uh, to get it back on the rail and it gave me an extra tender and the nice thing about these is they're fairly heavy uh, they stay on the rail whereas a lot of the lighter cars you have to be careful with you can pull the entire consist off the uh, track especially starting it in a curve if one of these comes off the rail you get the domino effect and it pulls every single car off the rail and that's one advantage of having an engine that runs forward only. If you uh, accidentally push this backwards too quickly, you'll derail it. So in any case, I've got uh, five tenders. These are all old original Marx tenders. No idea what year they are, but as you can see, this one is just absolutely filthy. It's been in the parts box for probably two years. Anyway, and then uh, got the tankers. A couple of them are in, this one is in really decent shape. And then they gradually, progressively get worse. There's a fairly nice one there. And then uh, the very worst one, of course, is here. Of course, I haven't cleaned any of these up. I haven't put any effort into this at all. I just put them on the rail yesterday. So just continuing down, we've got a couple of hoppers. And then the gondolas. We've got uh, red ones, one yellow one that I found. And then the uh, cabooses. So it's running fairly well. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's 24 cars on here. And so this is that new Commodore Vanderbilt that got here, when was that? Day before yesterday, I think. 10 bucks on eBay. I put that new motor in it. And uh, this is running quite well. So running on the new fourth rail, just uh, been running this all day, just debugging it, making adjustments. Uh, seeing where it had uh, power loss, if any, and then just uh, swapping the different components to get the very best connection I can. And uh, it's hardwired, of course. You notice there's no visible wires at all on any of the rails. And they're all right here. I just drilled holes and they're soldered directly to the bottom of the rails down through a hole. You can see that one there. Anyway, just wanted to do a... Uh, quick video of uh, running this around. I just put that uh, new tender on. So it gives me five of these. Like I said, that's been in a box for at least two years, something like that. It's been in there for quite a while. So let's run this around and see how we do. We've got a nice constant speed all the way around. So it's running nice and smooth. Doesn't seem to be any issues with the cars. on both sides of the track at the same time. So 24 original 10 litho cars being pulled by an original Commodore Vanderbilt. 
So it's really neat. And that's the whole idea of setting up this fourth rail was just for tin litho. And like I said, I had this box. I've got, I don't know, like 35 files. And uh, most of them I just brought up. So just to see what runs the best and what sequence to put them in. Well, this is running really well, so this will very likely be the permanent consist on the uh, fourth rail. And I set this rail up just for tin litho. I had all these cars and I wanted some place to run them rather than just display them. Much, much different than the later marks and completely different than Lionel. It's just pretty basic stuff. But it's a running train and it's original. A lot of these are 80 plus years old. So running really well. Nice and smooth, constant speed. So the track is working perfectly. So I've got a double reduction motor in that Commodore Vanderbilt. And then virtually everything else just came with other stuff that I bought on eBay. So 24 cars on the consist, so I'll probably be leaving this on here. Uh, I'll be running it the next few days and see how it, uh, how it runs. And of course I got the uh, a new tender put together out of parts, so hard to beat that. And uh, like I said, I just sprayed it with uh, a light coat of black primer just a few minutes ago. And you can see that it's absolutely filthy. So if I clean this up, put a little bit of effort in, into it, this could be a, a fairly decent looking train, uh, considering it's original. I mean, this is an old, old original train. So I just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, Feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.